Welcome back to NC Bassin. Today I'm gonna go pond hopping. I'm gonna try to beat that five keeper challenge. I'm gonna let two be under 14 so I have a chance. So I'm gonna hopefully catch three fish over 14 inches. That's gonna be the challenge. Hopefully catch one bigger than that 277. I need something over three pounds. It'd be nice to catch a big fish, but back on the ponds. I don't know if you guys can see that. The moon back there, but it was almost a full moon last night. The full moon was like two days ago, so hopefully I could catch them. Probably need to get here early. They might have been feeding last night, especially how clean this water is. This water's never this clear. We had a rain in a while. The cows are not in this field. This pond has usually got half time has cows, half time it doesn't. But when the water's clear, I usually can catch fish. But I've been fishing fishing it way too much. Hopefully the big ones are out to eat. Hopefully the full moon's gone biting. Let's see how it goes. Hunter just nailed it and somehow missed him on the jerk bait. Didn't even hook him for a second. There he is. Oh, that's not even that big. He looked, if that's the same fish that bit my dirt bait, he looked bigger out there. First keeper of the day, though. That's got to be the same fish that just hit the dirt bait. Sometimes when you're fishing shallow ponds, guys, with a jerk bait, you, jump, you gotta jerk up to keep it from digging into the bottom. These ponds are so shallow. Get a quick weight on him. He's probably one in a 1.3 or so. One 1.34. First fish today on the Wacky Rig Baton. Fish. I'm telling you guys, when the water's clear, throw a jerk bait. I have trouble dragging them in. Summer, winter, it don't matter. That's a, not a 14 incher, barely. It's probably 13 and a half. He was hooked bad. We got his little guy. I'm not even going to weigh him. But some of my tackle bags over there, anyways. His, he's been in some battles. He's probably 13, 13 and a quarter inches. He's probably one pound. There's one under 14 I got. The other one was right at 14, but I don't even have a bump board to even know for sure, but I'm pretty sure that fish was at least 14 and a half. Another one. There we go. They like the jerk bait. They're not big, that's the problem. I don't know how I'm gonna get in a big fish if I had to over here. He's not, they're decent size though. They're not tiny ones. Like I was catching last week. That's definitely a keeper. They're hard to flip in on a medium rod. And he bit my hook. So I like to use a soft rod and not flip them in like that. Well, they're biting, guys. That's a uh, close to two. I'd say 1.9. Clear water. Throw the jerk bait. God, he's tiny, but he hit it before I, I mean, he hit it and ran before I even set the hook like a spot. The spots do that a lot, guys, though. Jerk and paws and the line just takes off. He bit it right at the bank. You guys aren't going to believe this. Same fish I caught last week on the fluke. I remember hooking him through the bottom lip right there. It looks just like a cold tag. Just caught this fish. Less than a week ago, five days ago, I caught the same fish. Kind of the same style bait. I caught him on a white fluke last week and then catch him on a white dirt bait. He, he doesn't learn. Good. Oh, well, it's so cool to watch them come eat it, even if they're tiny. Tiny guy. 
This is like the most fish I've caught in here in one hour ever. Oh man, that ain't big. And he drags loot. He jerk it. He's bigger than the ones I've been catching. No, he's not. What in the world? It's tiny. It's a little cat. Nope. I thought I had a little catfish. Hooked him in the back. I thought I had a two pounder. I mean, I don't know whether to be happy about all the fish in here. Look, something got a hold of him. Snap turtle or something. I don't know if I'm happy about all the tiny fish in here or not. It's a good sign that people are practicing catch and release, but there might be a lot less big fish in here, but it's fun to be able to come down here and catch fish. I mean, this is literally 200 yards from my house. So it's nice to actually be able to, I usually come down here and get skunked. God, they are eating this dirt bait up. I'm talking like, I wasn't expecting to get a bite out in the middle of the pond. Still kind of hoping for one of them 15-inch crappy, but we'll take that. That's another keeper. That's a 14-incher. No giants yet, but I thought the babies were schooled up over here, but he was out near the middle of the pond. There's actually a little bit of brush there that I used to fish in the wintertime all the time. Just a small little tree. And looky there, guys. Caught him recently, too. Is he not the one I caught in the brush hog in the tree last week? These fish are active today. What in the world? Something was going after it. That's why it went up. Hey, he's a little guy. Man, he must have swirled under it. My, I was like, why did my bait just float up? And then he nailed it. They are killing, guys. I'm about to do the 20 bass challenge. Little, little guy. It's probably not 14 inches, but man, I've caught like nine, I think like nine fish, eight or nine fish at least. This is like a record here. we go Just going crazy with it making a hit top water and something come up and ate it got something's attention I was like well if something's on the corner of that bush I'll come out and eat this seemed like all the fish were on the dam not here in the back but I come back here on the way out had to make a few more casts I even tried a few more at the dam didn't get none but hit them or something that fish is not that skinny as a lot of them but He's not 14 inches, but he's a decent fish. And they're funneling jerk bait too, especially when you watch them come up and eat it. God, I seen the weight come up behind it. It's awesome. I'm on something with this, making it a topwater jerk bait right now. Seems like the bigger fish are eating it like that. I mean, they're far from big, that's for sure. They're not bad. Look at that, guys. I mean, the best day numbers-wise I've ever had here, probably. The more crazy and erratic I'm doing, the more I'm getting. And guys, if that's four keepers, and if we're doing under 14, I've been had the four keeper challenge. That's like 11 fish. I think this day just turned into a 20 bass challenge, because I call 11 at one pond. So I'm about to go hit, try another pond or two. See if I can get 20 fish and hopefully catch another keeper. I think that's four keepers. I kind of lost count, but they're not big. And that's usually what I catch on a jerkbait. Decent, solid fish, a bunch of little guys, a couple of solid fish, maybe one big spot. But the only time I catch big fish on a jerkbait is in the dead of winter time. I used to all the time as a kid. I used to love jerkbaits. Got one, he's, oh my gosh. He's 
not a keeper. It's about the size of the one that was hit my dirt bait. New pond, guys. It's slow here. This is my numbers pond, but they are not biting here. The last few times I've been here, it's been a struggle. There we go. Had to come back to this pond, guys. They are killing here. Spent like an hour at the other pond, and it was a struggle. I'm thinking when a little bit of sun comes out, they'll hit the jerk bait even better. I'm pretty sure I've caught half the fish in this pond, though. God. I knew I got bit before that. I mean, he hit it and ran. They're getting smaller, but they're fun. I'm gonna have to seriously change the hooks on this, these, this bait now. They're sharp on the one. They are biting at this pond. They are killing right now. They're all tiny, but. I've been the same one, he just looks small. He was like a 12 incher. Still tiny. There's another one. Man, there's a whole school right there. That's what it is. There's a whole little wolf pack of guys, and they're tiny. The one I just lost was like 12 inches, but three bites in a row right here in front of me. They're tiny fish, guys, but I caught like 13 fish out of the spawn. This is a record for sure. Oh man, right at the drain, a good one. That's my fifth keeper, if I can get him in. Right at the drain, man, this pond is. Oh, I just love being able to, they eat it head first 90% of the time, guys. Your front hook is so important. That's why you like, I like three hooks because you can pin them with different hooks when you, after you hook them. That first hook be, is, has to be sharp. And the main thing about three hooks is the front hook is so close to the head. On, the, on baits with two hooks, the hook starts in the middle of the body. Closer to the head of the hook you can get these fish, the better. That's why I like three hook dirt baits. Good. There's a little almost two pounder. He's got a fat belly on him. He's healthy actually. I think that's my fifth keeper. At least four. And a ton of fish. I mean, they are biting this jerk bait. And it's so fun watching them come up and eat it. I'm telling you guys, fall, a jerk bait works great. Everybody wants to throw a mega bass. The shadow wrap works almost as good. I mean, it's a really good jerk bait for the price. Just like most Rapala stuff. I mean, they're not the best, but they're solid. That's a good fish. He was right here at the secondary drain. He's going to do one more jump. Look at that. God, if I hooked him on the side, they're killing a jerk bait. Can't hardly get a bite on a Texas rig. I did just miss one on a Texas rig, but this has really helped me understand how they hit the jerk bait because they want it straight darting. If it wobbles like a crankbait, they won't bite it. You gotta get those sharp jerks. And kind of short jerks today is really getting them. So I'm trying to keep it shallow, because these fish are pretty shallow. That, that guy was actually in the weeds kind of, he come out and nailed it. I mean, that's another okay fish. I mean, used to this pond had nothing but two pounders. Now it's full of dinks. God. These fish are nailing it. They're not big. I just, look at all these fish. I'm, I mean, apparently I'm just not good at fishing, guys, because I had no idea there was this many fish in this pond. 
I'm just not good at fishing, obviously, because this pond is loaded with fish. I thought it only had a few big ones in it. This pond has a ton of fish in it. They're all under two pounds, but there's some decent ones in there. I mean, it's crazy. I have never in my life caught this many fish. Not even close out of here. I've been fishing this pond for 17 years. Actually, 18 years. God almighty. I love watching them come and hit it, even if they're that small. Like, I just, it's almost as good as the top water because you get to see them come up and just nail it. And these fish have so much energy right now. Well, that's a good way to bend your hooks out. So they're hitting it like 100 miles per hour. They look like tarpon. I thought maybe it was a day, but I went to two other ponds and they were terrible. In total, I fished this pond maybe two and a half hours. I've caught like over 15 fish. I think that's 17. Well, 16 here. I'm not sure. But it's crazy. This pond is full of fish. Well, guys, that was crazy. I did not expect to catch that many fish. The little shadow wrap, size 11, got it done today. That thing really produced. I was thinking it might work. I was going to walk out the door and I said, well, I, when I was getting my rods out of my boat, I seen this one. It already had the jerk bait on it. I was like, oh, that might work. They're hitting a fluke. I didn't expect to catch that many fish on it. They don't really want top waters, but they want something just under the surface. And I got to watch at least half of these fish, probably more than that, come up and hit it. I mean, they wanted it on a, a really erratic jerk, but just two jerks and let it sit, two jerks and let it sit, but quick twitches, and they wanted it near the surface. I mean, I was trying to keep it near the surface to keep it from getting hung up, and that's when they would hit it. A lot of these fish will just swipe it from the bottom, but especially the little guys, you can watch them come and hit it head first. That's why I like a jerk bait with three hooks. That front hook is so close, so close to the, the head of the bait. You do got two hooks. They'll get hooked on this, and these will throw around and you get more on it. Three hooks are important, but I really just want one close. It will get caught in your line sometimes, but you really want one close to the head. These fish want to eat it head first, and I watch most of these fish come up and eat it. It was crazy. I cannot believe I caught that many fish today. Throwing it on a medium rod, a six three to one reel. That's what I always like. I like this glass rod too. It's really perfect for keeping those fish pinned. It's kind of hard to flip them up on it, but, and I didn't catch any big fish. You hook a big fish on this thing and it's, it's a fight, but it keeps them pinned. And this bait right here works, guys. It's fall. They're about to start killing this at the lake. I'm surprised they're killing it here. This not, not that great of a color for this pond, but it, apparently it produced. The water's clear for this pond. Had a great day. I wasn't even thinking about filming. I just assumed I wouldn't catch anything really, but they were biting. This is the most fish I've ever caught this pond. I was very surprised. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.